Why hello, you're watching me. Have a look at the Star Trek official Starship collection made by Eomos. You're looking at issue number 27 today, the Romulan Bird of Prey. If you want to buy these, you can buy these from the Eagle Moss website. All you need to do is use your favourite search engine to search for Eagle Moss Star Trek models. And there you go. I believe they ship all around the world, if you're lucky. Right, we're looking at the Romulan Bird of Prey. And the magazine, it's all laminated. It's all hard, so it's not too bad. You can get the special folders from, but I haven't. I'm just using a box folder, because I'm boring and old. Let's have a look at her, shall we? So it's got some basic details about the ship. Let's flick through it. Pretty pictures. Oh, look, it's a big hole. That's when that cloaked mine stuck itself to the side of the ship, wasn't it? I remember that. Um, some rough sketches and schematics. Uh, doesn't actually tell you much. Oh, look. This one has the bird of prey underneath it. I like that. Why didn't they have that? There you go. This is the original one I like. I like that design. I like that design. I think that was actually when they had warp drive because they did that thing with the Klingons, didn't they? Some more pretty pictures. The original Romulans. I can't remember that episode. I don't think I've actually seen that episode. <laughs> the Klingons took over from Romulans as the major villains because their makeup was cheaper. <laughs> Seriously, what makeup? They just kind of painted them brown and put some hair on them. Uh, some more pretty pictures. See, look, they've got a bit of a forehead there now. He doesn't look like a Roman, but he does. Um, first major appearance, minefield. See. That's when the ship got a big hole in it. And that was from that mine got stuck to it and then boom. And they went, ah. So what we've got next, we've got the Marquee Fighter. Well, it says Marquee Fighter there, but on the side of the magazine it says Marquee Raider. So, Fighter, Raider, Jigglypuff. Let's have a look at the model, shall we? It's green. It's mean and it's green. And it's wrestling too. Is this stuck? No, nope, no, nope, it's just me being a baby. Okay, let's have a look. Mm, it's it's over. It's not heavy, but it's not made paper thin plastic. Straight away, I've noticed this gap here. I know there's gaps on the other side, but this gap is a lot bigger than that gap. But we come around to that. So let's have a look. Along here, the engines. It's made of plastic. It's all plasticky there. Same on the other side, it's all plastic. Uh, you've got the windows on the top. Focus. There we go. There's no indent, so it's hard to tell if they're actually where they should be. But they look reasonable. There's a lack of detail on here. It's nice. Don't get me wrong, it's nice, but it's, it just seems a bit uh, boring and plain. It would have been lovely to have that bird decor underneath here but there isn't any bird decor so you're cheap you're cheap and nasty why they should have put the bird decor on her i liked it um there's not really much else to say about it it's quite a basic model quite basic quite plain quite dull definitely one i'd say avoid the quality of it's not too bad the joints are very minimal Trying to get a look at these windows. The windows aren't too bad. There's no indents, so you can't tell if they're in place or they're not. But the model itself isn't too bad. Can't complain. I'm not going to say it's great either. But anyway, that is your Romulan Bird of Prey. So I will catch you on my next episode. And thanks for watching. Bazy bye.